Hello. Um, today we're going to open some cars. Uh, part of this is because um, I recently got a hold of this Porsche 935-78 by Hot Wheels, um, designed by, let's get it up here, designed by June Amai, um, and I really like it. I really like this design. And, uh, 2011. Just says Porsche 30, 935 on the bottom, um, which is very confusing because, um, in my Hot Wheels from this year alone, um, we have the Porsche 935 and this Rivasada Porsche 935 that's um, based on the, it, it's actually very similar to the, to the 78 Porsche 35. There's obviously, there's some differences. The spoiler, um, it's more curved lines and, and the, uh, this, the spoiler up front is different too. But this is based on the 76 car, I think. So I thought it would be fun to open them up and, uh, just take a look at some of the differences. Um, I really like, first of all, let's talk about this one, actually. I really like this orange. Um, it's metal flake, but it's a really subtle metal flake. Um, the wheels are nice. I, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, I think that the blue and the yellow really complement the orange, and um, and the white meatball on the side with the 78 is is pretty great. Porsche on the spoiler. I mean, it's also it's given quite a nice treatment. Um, you know, left, right, top. So that's a very nice car and one that I, um, I'm very happy to have in my collection. So let's take a look at Rio Sada's Porsche 93576. I don't know why they don't call it the 76, um, but right away I can, I can see that it's more detailed. There's, there's little bumps here. Um, you know, there's, there's, uh, some detailing on the hood, the front, the front grill and things, much more detailed. The wheels are great. It's a great choice of wheel for this, this deep, deep blue color. Again, it's got the top, um, purple and yellow with the deep blue. I really like the yellow with the deep blue. Um, the purple goes with the yellow? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's growing on me. The yellow goes with the gold too. 35, I'm not sure what that's, what that's for. Their numbers usually are for something. I guess Porsche 935, sorry. I'm, I'm feeling a bit foolish today. So Bill Stein, Goodyear, and we've got the Goodyear on this spoiler. And uh, I don't like this spoiler as much. I mean, it's more modern, I guess. It's, it's, it's on an older car, so I don't know why I feel like it's more modern, but I guess it's less blocky. The whole car is less blocky. You know, it's got curved lines where this one has sharp angles. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a really attractive car. Oh, the windows. Yeah, this has just got, you know, plain seeming windows, you know, a windshield wiper. Um, whereas this has got, you know, the sliding window, it's open. Two windshield wipers, can you imagine? Uh, the side mirrors are nicer. I mean, this is, this is a much more detailed casting. And I wonder if
if the technology had improved that much um, in the intervening decade. Well, actually, I'm not sure when this is copyrighted. Twenty twenty. Okay, so the intervening decade. Um, you know what? Uh, so new for twenty twenty two. I don't know who designed this, and I feel uh, I feel a little silly about that. I wish it said, like on the back, it says designer Porsche, but someone at Hot Wheels took the Porsche and made it work at 164th scale and made it fun. And that is the person who I think deserves the credit here. Wow, this one's really not opening. Okay, so Porsche 935, I think this is based on This one says it also pays homage to the the 78 winner of Le Mans, which is what this does. But I think it's more inspired by rather than an attempt to recreate. Yeah, because in 78, that car won Le Mans. Um, Let's take a look at this. The wheels are so good. Black on black. Just a really simple livery. Gold. 70. Again, with the two windshield wipers, they're just going nuts. They're going nuts down there at Hot Wheels. Detailed hood, detailed roof. It's a... Uh, is a very detailed casting and um better than that uh or more than that i think the lines the lines really work on this casting um i know that the exaggerated lines on the others are not unrealistic um for uh especially for um Endurance cars, it's got a roll cage, that's cool. But this just, um, I don't know, this feels the most like a real car. Um, and part of that is, oh, I don't want to knock that over. Okay, so this one's fine, but this one, um, the bigger back wheel. Uh, which is such a Hot Wheels thing, and fun, especially fun for kids. But um, having them the same size really adds to the realism. I wish it had. I wish it had a. livery that was this good on this car that's <laughs> that's my uh, that's my take um, this is great uh, this car is really good I don't particularly like the livery but I mean that's gonna change this is this is just the there's probably an alternate color this year too if it's its first year um, and this one just not for me, I don't think. It's like this one, but it takes away the boxiness that I like. I don't know. That's just my opinion about those three. Um, and we have... We have another Hot Wheels. This one's... I actually, I joined that Hot Wheels Redline club thing. I don't think I needed to be a member to order this, but 
anyway, I don't think this was limited edition at all. I think you can still buy it. But um, it's a collaboration between Adidas, Hot Wheels, and some fucker I never heard of. And um, I love Diora too. It's a cool car. And uh, as soon as I got it in the mail, I was like, this was not, I don't know what I was thinking. It's just, it seems to me to be very, It is a color shifter, and uh, that's cool. I don't have any color shifters. Diora 2. I mean, it's so lazy. It's just, it doesn't matter where on the car this pattern is. They just smeared it all over the car, like, Oh, my pattern's so cool, it doesn't matter. Just cover the whole car in it. Like, it doesn't give the impression of being made for Diora 2, you know? Or any care being put into the, the deco. So. Adidas, obviously. Hot Wheels. And then I'm supposed to know what the fuck that is? Like, this guy... I mean, he must have some kind of clout for Hot Wheels to want to do a collaboration with him, but it just seems arrogant and lazy to me. Like, he, he put no effort into making this about the Diora 2. It was just about him. And I had very little time for that. Oh, I do love the Diora too, though. And the purple, the purple windows are cool. I mean, it's a nice blue. That's the like overall impression you get from it. The wheels are wonderful. Um, the Hot Wheels team did their part of the job amazingly. Um, can I just squeeze it and change the color? I don't want to break it. But do I want to generate heat? Oh, kind of. It did kind of change the color. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> I am gonna, you're going to hear the sound of me rubbing my hands together. Definitely changes the color. Uh, I remember being a kid and having all these color changing Hot Wheels. I just, you know, I think I paid $30 for this and it's just, I mean, you know, it's, it's a Diora 2 for the collection. Or I could have kept it in its package and sold it on eBay for all that hassle or whatever, but Really, then I'm just, I would have just wasted my time. Paid for something, sold it for what it cost. Had to go to the post office. I'd rather have it in my Diora collection, I guess. Even though, um, it's a real disappointment. It's a real, like, lazy. This artist guy is, um, Okay, I won't go on too much about that. The people at Hot Wheels do a better job, obviously. 
Okay, so let's um let's open another Porsche. Not not a uh, not a um, nine three five, but that's okay. Um, so this is Shuko. I had another headlight issue the last Shuko I opened. It wasn't busted or anything, and the rest of the car was gorgeous. So it's it's actually. Sorry if this is gonna make you motion sick, but the car is actually, um, where is it? In my collection, because it's, it's a really beautiful car. So that's the last Shuko I opened. The Shuko before that, I burned on video. Uh, and you can go to my channel, or go to my video list and, and watch if you, if you like. Um, so let's get this off. Um, this is a classic looking car. Turbo. So it's the Porsche 911 Turbo 30. And these wheels are nice. And let's look at the headlights. Um, door handle looks good. Inserted one piece tail light looks good. I'm, uh, I mean, it's a very simple car, but it's a, I mean, it's, it's such a classic design that it doesn't need to be really fancy or anything. Um, Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of happy with this, actually. I, I sound, I'm sorry, I sound surprised. I, um, I just I have these Shukos and I keep having bad experiences with them, but this is... Oh, it rolls. I want to roll nice. Um, I mean, obviously not as nice as the Hot Wheels are going to roll. Hot Wheels makes, that's one great thing about Hot Wheels is that is a priority. Like, they are 100% toys first. If that's, if it doesn't roll, it, it, uh, it's not making it out of the factory. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is, it's simple. It's, um... Yeah, it's a Porsche 911. And, um, okay, so there's two cars left. Sorry, there's one car left and then the mystery box. Now, I, I, I have mentioned this before, but um, my father, my father bought me a, um, of Hot Wheels, uh, which was very, very kind of him. He bought it off of, I don't know, eBay or, not eBay, um, Facebook or something. And, um, and there were some really interesting things in there. So, in my videos now, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to throw in some, some fun by opening a, a couple of those in the mystery box. So let's move a little. Oh, my finger is in the way. Um, I put a, uh, put a bow on it this time to make it a little more special. Okay, onward with the mystery box. 
uh, the mystery there was um, how I got so foolish. All right, first car. I got the Dodge Charger 500. I think. 69 Dodge Charger 500 in this great lime green. Um, you can see the, the big back wheel, the Hot Wheels thing. Um, but on these muscle cars, I find it very appropriate. So this one does not roll very well. And that's because it's been in a bucket. <laughs> and uh, I'll leave it here for you to admire while I let this fickle cat, fickle, fickle cat back out. Did you have a fun time? Dodge Charger 500, it just has a cool, I don't know. When I was a kid, I thought this kind of car was so cool. I guess kids now think different, think differently. Like um, I was talking to someone who has a eight year old and uh, their favorite car is the McLaren F1. And uh, you know, that's a, that's, yeah, that's a cool car, I guess. Um, but uh, when I was eight, my favorite car was the the Buick Skylark. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I'm just old. All right, second mystery car. That's beautiful. On it, and I, I love the lowered stance. It's still a little forward, um, and it's the. 83 Chevy Silverado. For a second I thought it said 33 and I was like, that's not right. But the orange Fram Deco livery, I don't know. And um, so cutting out this body, uh, I assume is, is to allow for it to be lowered like this. Which is, which is pretty cool, this lowered Silverado. It's, um, yeah, it's just a very cool look. I mean, I like, you know, I like trucks that are big and up on high suspension and stuff. Um, it's, they're very practical, obviously. Um, but these lowered, these lowered trucks are pretty cool too. I mean, you know, you've got, you've got low rider, uh, Eldorados and things. I think this is like a very funny response to that. It rolls really well. Um, yeah. Uh, that's cool. That's a cool car. That's a cool car to find in a bucket of toys. And one final one from there is, uh, what's this called? Hoverstorm, and this is Hot Wheels fantasy at its like m most fun. I think it's you know it's got the the hover stuff and then it it sneaks the wheels in there. <laughs> A huge engine on it, uh, which I guess powers the the rotors. The, the fans or whatever. I don't know. I don't know a lot about physics. I wonder if there's a limit to how fast you can spin a fan and still get more power out of it. Um, but it also has wheels, so let's, let's not uh, judge too harshly. Um, yeah, I, I love the fact that it's a hovercraft. I love the wheels. The top is just a fucking mess of nonsense to me. 
Um, yeah, these are cool. And uh, the fact that it's a hovercraft is cool, but you know, I'm not setting aside a, a whole shelf to try and get a recasting of this, this one. Okay, one more car, and uh, I put this one on because I thought that I would be angry about the the Dior too. So I thought maybe I'd put one in that I was fairly certain I would like because it's a car I really like, and that car is the Bentley Continental GT3. Um, and it's the, this livery is the number five champion of the 2018 Blanc Pain, Blanc Pain GT Asia. You still have to be four, four, 14 years of age to uh, Blanc Pain. I don't even know. I think the car is cool. I can't remember the names of the races. It's just a Bentley grill, you know? But it's on a race car is very, very cool to me. It's got the sponsors. The wheels are just black on black. Um, the taillights are impeccable. Let's take the real measure of the car. How does its door handle look? Yeah, the door handle's nice. I mean, it's not anything special, but it does the job. It has an indent, that's nice. You often don't see that, or you don't often see that. Spoiler's nice, gives the impression of being adjustable. this electronic number in the in the windows uh, the front spoiler has a nice line again I can't get over this uh, this grill these circle headlights are wonderful just means white bread Blanc pain. Okay. Oh, I love this line that goes up to the spoiler. On oh, this line. This is actually a really well thought out and attractive livery. Like it flows together really well. this car. I mean, I love this instance of this car, but I love this car. It is just a... I think this might be my favorite GT3 car. All right, well, let's, um, let's do a bit of a run down, I suppose. So... 
Mini GT, Bentley Continental, GT3, number five, a winner. I knew it was gonna be a winner. I've opened others from different races and they have been winners. So this, which I had opened, but um, opened isn't the right word because this also came from the bucket, but I was, I was too excited to uh, to wait to mystery box it, and so I put it on my Instagram, my Hot Wheels Instagram. Uh, so the 93578, um, I love the colors. And then the 935, um, which also says it's inspired by the 78, would look amazing with these colors. It would look so good. Um, I don't like the black and gold so much. I think it's overdone lately. So that's not a, really a knock against this. But like, I don't know, like in arm's distance, I could probably find, yeah, right here. Black and gold. The John Player Smith Porsche. Um, the Shuko. A rare win for me from Shuko. Porsche 911 Turbo 930, something 30. Don't know a lot about Porsches, not gonna lie. Uh, this Silverado. Amazing. I mean, this is, we're getting a lot of good cars today. Um, this isn't, and this is not a bad car. And this is not a bad car. These two, um, I mean, Dior 2 is an amazing car. This paint job, this, uh, here's the artist's uh, signature or whatever the, whatever it is. Um, this paint job is garbage, just garbage. Um, but it's a color changer, it's Dior 2. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's trash. Um, eh. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting, it's a curiosity. It's, you know, they're not all gonna be knocked out of the park with Hot Wheels. Um, I've also seen much better Hot Wheels chargers than this, so. And if we're being honest, like, am I giving bonus points to this for being the third best 935 in in that we looked at today? I don't know. There's there's just these are you know also Rands. This is a DNF and uh, let's see. This is the podium. Sorry. This is the podium. Um, that was race car metaphors, I guess. Um, thank you very much uh, for watching, and I hope that you have a very nice day.